A shortage of public defenders in Deschutes County has resulted in the recent release of several criminal defendants. The shortage is blamed on low interest, low pay, and limits on caseloads. Matthew Draxton talks with a local judge concerned about the system. According to documents from the Deschutes DA's office, as of Saturday, seven criminal defendants have been released because of the shortage of public defenders. They're accused of crimes including sexual abuse, rape, and attempting to flee a police officer. Um, it's, it's very concerning that we are in this situation. Defendants do have the right to have counsel if they've requested counsel and qualify. Four out of the seven released have charges relating to children. Arias Perez was released Saturday, his charges including luring a minor, rape, and sexual abuse. Cody O'Neill was released from jail in late April because he didn't have a state-appointed attorney. He's charged with 10 counts of child sexual abuse. Defendants waiting for an attorney to be appointed have seven days before they're automatically released from custody. It is by far the most important factor. It is the factor that is driving this process. Defendants are released with conditions appropriate to their charges, such as appearing in court within 30 days of release, obeying all laws and requirements to stay in the state and to maintain current contact information. If those rules are violated, the defendant will be taken back into custody. Within those 30 days, the court will try and assign a public defender. If they have drug offenses, we'll order standard drug conditions. If they have a person victim, they're ordered to have no victim contact. The court keeps track of the amount of unrepresented individuals. When released, they have alcohol and GPS monitoring. The court has not found at this point that it is appropriate to um, order GPS monitors uh, for somebody who does not have an attorney because a release hearing is a critical stage of a, of a prosecution. Defendants have a statutory right to a speedy trial in Oregon within 60 days. A case cannot open indefinitely and the state is required to meet timelines to get individuals to trial. So hopefully um, this situation gets addressed at the policy level so we can move forward with these important cases. Originally, the list shared with us by the DA had 13 defendants on it. Seven were released. Five have since been assigned attorneys. One is up for review next week. Matthew Jackson, News Channel 21.